Hi guys, my name is Jeff. Today we would like to talk about circle geometry, specifically the theorems that you did in grade 11 that, uh, de that are dealing with the radius and the diameter. So the first theorem that you want to look at is a line drawn from the center of the circle perpendicular to the code bisects the code. So if you look at this line going down, it is perpendicular to this code. So what does that do? It bisects the code. So the distance from here to there is the same as the distance from here to there. Whenever you state a theorem, you need to write the right reason. And in this case, the right reason is <clears throat> line from the center perpendicular to the code. Are we together? All right, let's use this theorem in a practical example. The question here is saying, calculate the radius of, this, of the circle below. So if you look at this circle, it has got this is a radius, this is also a radius. So we are supposed to find those. But if you look at this line, it goes all the way from the center going down and is perpendicular. To this line okay because of the theorem that we've just done this line s t is bisected meaning from here to there is four units and from here to there is four units now uh, focusing on this triangle you then see that we are looking for o t o t and because this triangle is a right angle triangle, you can apply the theorem of Pythagoras, thereby finding OT to be 5 units. What caused you to find this as 4 is because of this reason. This is the reason. Are we together? Okay, so let's go to the next theorem. And the next theorem is the one which says, it's actually a converse of the previous theorem, which says a line drawn from the center of a circle to the midpoint of the chord is perpendicular to the chord. So what it means is because this line is coming down like this and it's bisecting this, so this angle of 90 degrees comes about. And remember to state the reason, and the reason is this one. Are we following? Let's apply this theorem in a practical example. So in this case, we are supposed to find the value of x. So if you look at this diagram, uh, you can see that this line is going down and is bisecting SU. Because it's bi bisecting SU, it therefore follows that this angle becomes 90 degrees and also this angle becomes 90 degrees. Because of that, it is giving birth to this situation where we have this radius and this radius also being equal. So this triangle here and this triangle here are congruent. Therefore, this angle here becomes 22 degrees. So focusing on this triangle, you then realize that this is 90, this is 22, this is x. Therefore, x is actually equal to 90 degrees minus 22 degrees to give us 68 degrees. When you are writing this answer, it is important to write down the reason why this angle was 90 degrees. The reason is this one. Are we together? Awesome. Now let's go to the next theorem. The next theorem that you want to look at is the one which says the angle subtended by an arc or a chord at the center is twice the angle that is subtended by the same arc at the circumference. Remember, these two angles, they must be on the same side of the chord as the center. Otherwise, this will give you some problems if you are not careful. So, let's look at this first diagram. 
This is a chord. This is actually, this is an arc. So this arc is subtending this angle at the center. The same arc is subtending this angle at the circumference. Because of the stated theorem, it means the angle at the center becomes 2 theta because this angle is theta. I also want you to know that this, as much as we said this is the arc, we can also have this as the code. So that's how it applies. So we can also talk about the same theorem on the second diagram where this arc is subtending this angle at the center at the same time is subtending this angle at the circumference and the angle at the circumference, circumference is theta. It therefore means that the angle at the center is 2 theta. Remember, you need to write down your reason and in this case your reason is angle at the center is equal to 2 times angle at the circumference. Are you following this? Let's apply this theorem in a problem. So given that angle R is 43 degrees, determine the size of angle P or Q. So this angle here is given as 43 degrees and we are supposed to calculate the size of this angle. But if you look, this arc here is subtending this angle of 43 degrees at the circumference. At the same time, this arc is also subtending this angle, the one that you are looking for at the center. So how do we find that? We are going to say angle P or Q, which is the one at the center, is going to be 2 times angle at the circumference, 2 times 43, which gives us 86 degrees. For this statement, we need to state the reason, and the reason is angle at the center is equal to 2 times angle at the circumference. Are you following this? Awesome. Let's go to the next theorem. So the next theorem that you want to focus on is the theorem which says the, diam the angle subtended by the diameter at the circumference is equal to 90 degrees. So this is a diameter on the diagram. So this diameter is subtending this angle here. And what is this angle? This angle is 90 degrees. And as always, remember to state the reason correctly. And this is the reason. Angle subtended by the diameter equal to 90 degrees. Are you happy with this? Okay, so let's apply this in an example. So now, calculate a angle A and B in this given diagram. So if you look at this diagram, there is a diameter here. That diameter is subtending angle A. So accordingly, A, because it's subtended by the diameter, it becomes 90 degrees. And what is the reason for that? The reason is angle subtended by the diameter equal to 90 degrees. The same applies, the same diameter is subtending angle B, and angle B therefore becomes 90 degrees, and the reason is the same. Are we, are we together? All right, so let's look at the next theorem then. The next theorem that you want to look at is the one which says angles subtended by the same code on the same side of the code are equal. So let's look at this diagram. We are going to see that there is an arc here, or we can say a chord, and it is subtending this angle theta at the circumference. And the same chord is subtending this angle at the circumference. Because of this theorem, we see that that angle also becomes theta. Remember to write the reason. And the reason in this case is angles in the same segment. Are you understanding this? If you understand this, then let's apply it in an example. Right. 
find the angle A. So if you look at this diagram, you can see that this arc PQ is subtending angle 20 degrees at the circumference. At the same time, this same uh, arc is subtending this angle A at the circumference. Because of that, we are going to say now angle A is actually equal to 20 degrees. What is the reason for that? The reason is because these are angles in the same segment. This brings us to the end of this session. I hope you have understood this theorem.